What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, it'll be a continuation of my optimization guide, showing you a simple feature that's not so simple to turn off. In game, you can only lower anti aliasing, but if you edit the actual configuration files themselves, you can turn it off entirely and change your game from looking like this, where everything is blurry, including the grass, which is rather weird, distant trees, etc., etc. And this is what it looks like with anti aliasing off. Options, video, F for advanced. Anti-aliasing can only be pushed between high and low. And that's it. So how do we fix this? Well, first of all, hold start and press E to open up a new file browser. Then head across to documents. Inside of documents, we'll click anywhere and type dying. So dying light 2 is highlighted. Open up this folder, then out, then settings, and finally video.scr. By default, this is a screensaver, so don't double click on it. Rather, right click and choose, say, edit with notepad. If you don't have anything like this available, you can simply hit start, type in notepad, and open up default notepad. Then drag video.scr onto notepad here, and it'll open up. Now we have a bunch of different settings that we can modify. All we have to do is locate anti aliasing. So scrolling down, we have anti aliasing and anti aliasing quality. All we have to do is change the one to a zero and save the file. Now, usually what we have to do with these settings files, but we don't have to do here, at least for now, is right click properties and tick read only. This will stop the game modifying files, but isn't really required right now. Anyways, when we've edited the file and saved it, we can fire up the game once again and have a look at how it's improved. And there we go. Things are already a lot more crispy, but they may be a bit too much for you. For me, however, I'd much rather take this view over here as things are just clean up. I can actually see what's going on in the distance. It's not just one big blur. This is exactly my issue with the game from the first video in the optimization guide. I'm pretty sure I said that everything looks blurry. I still have motion blur and all those settings on, but even with everything set to high, this game looks so much better with anti-aliasing completely turned off. It doesn't look like I need glasses anymore. I can actually see. As you can see, I simply changed the motion blur option and everything's reset. Why is that? Well, simply because the option in the menu doesn't go as low as off. It only goes down to low, which is one. And because that's a minimum in the game's settings, it's simply overwritten the save file and got rid of our change. So if you don't like the way that things look after changing the settings file, you'll unfortunately need to close the game, edit that file once again, and make anti-aliasing back to zero. I just wanted to disable motion blur to make things a bit smoother and less motion sicknessy, but the game has really dropped in quantity with anti-aliasing on. Now, of course, for some people, you may absolutely despise those jagged edges, but for me, I'd much rather take them over thinking that I need glasses to look into the distance or even at close-up objects. Anyways, it's just your preference, and of course, having anti-aliasing off does it usually add to your FPS as it's one less post-processing option that needs to be enabled. So just for a quick point of reference, this is with anti-aliasing on. Currently sitting at 54 FPS, and it's not really moving much. So let's go ahead and change that. And with anti-aliasing off, hopping onto the same car, giving it some time to normalize, eh, roughly 56 FPS. Not a huge change, but it is something. And just based off the visual change, it's definitely a lot better. I would much prefer playing like this, even if things look a bit too sharp. Just the general change of how things look is definitely worth it if you're someone who doesn't mind these jagged edges and would rather see straight than not. Anyways, my name's Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.